All right, welcome back to Battle for the Ardennes, SPI 1978 quad. We're playing the Clairvaux scenario, and we are moving into afternoon and evening of the 18th of December, 1944. Uh, and this is the German turn. Quick situation review. Uh, Germans are moving from south to north. Um, the Germans are pushing, this is more their flanks, but we've got some Falschermjäger and some Volksgrenadiers kind of pushing the Americans back, but they're kind of stopped up here um, at Ellenbrook. And the U.S. seems to be solidifying. Uh, not much going on here. Wilts, we had some Volksgrenadier across the river. Um, but there's not much to take advantage of here, but this is where the biggest concentration of German mech uh, armor, Panzer, Panzer Grenadiers are. We've got 2nd Panzer, 116th Panzer for a little while. we got Panzer Lair and some supporting folks Grenadiers, the 560th moving this way because the prize is Baston from a victory point of view and also the Germans need to get mech units off the board between here. So this is the main axis of advance for the Germans here. This is uh, this is helpful secondarily if the Germans get, you know, whoever has villages and cities gets victory points too, along with losses. So it's not like this can be abandoned. Alright, so with that said, let's go ahead and look at the sequence of play. And yeah, there's an errata, errata that said the Germans have to check supply. Um, they're in supply through the first four turns. The last turn they started checking supply. And here we are, mutual supply determination. And the German problem right now is this bridge is blown. Um, so, hold on here. There we go. You can't see it, but it's blown. But the Germans do have an engineer here. So by the end of this turn, this will be repaired, but that then causes one, two, three, four. Well, this guy's in supply. One, two, three, four. This, so all of these are in supply, but this one is overextended here, the 116th. Uh, one, two, three, four. They can't get to a road that then goes to the map edge. So once this bridge is repaired, well, then they're right next to it. So they're out of supply. Um, uh, this guy... Uh, these units, wait, one, two, three, four. So they can go around the curve here. The river ends here, so they can cross right there. Uh, these are in supply, one. This one is still out of supply because unbridged river hex side, um, you have to have the road right next to the river. So this one is out of supply. And then we work our way down here. Um, there are no U.S. units out of supply here. This guy can just go around here. So they're good, and this guy's good. And actually, this guy now is not out of supply because he this one negates that uh, out of supply here. Um, interestingly enough, these two are in supply because the road's here. This one is out of supply because he's not adjacent to the river. And then coming down here, it looks like everybody is in supply. And these bridges are not blown. S well, they didn't want to do it. Well, they should have done it last turn because they can retreat across. Another tactical blunder, maybe? We'll see. All right, so I think that's the supply determination. No air power. And now we go into the movement phase. And the first thing is building. And if we look, we are going to be uh, working on that one because of that guy there. Oop, not you. You, so I'm going to mark moved. Okay, yeah, that shows up there. So he will stay there. Um, are there any other bridges to build? He just built one here. 
So, well, he could build a bridge here, but it's not on the road. I don't know what would be the value. Well, then one, two, and they'd be in supply. Uh, he's probably not building the bridge here anytime soon, so maybe that's a good idea. Uh, that'll get supply across here, and they can at least go one, two, three, four. So that's a new one. Let's do that. Place bridge repair marker. See if I can do that. Right? No, 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 no. This is kind of hard here. There, and then this guy. Do we have that many? I didn't know that. Wait, hold on. Uh, I think I may have duplicated him. Let's go back. Yeah, I duplicated him. No, we do have two engineer units. Holy smoke. Okay. Really? How many? Yeah, and I'm at the stacking limit, too. Um, so one of them can stay behind, and one of them can... Well, let's see. All right, I think I got that. Um, there are two engineers here. And one of them is building a bridge here, because there's not much else he can do. Um, there's another engineer over here, but uh, he's not on a river. So I think that's the end of the bridge building. Improved positions. I don't see the Germans doing that. So we get to the battery segment. And we have to decide, like, this guy's not going to drop out of battery. Um, these can't drop out of battery because they're in travel mode. <coughs> this one did drop. A Let's see what this one looks like. One, two, three. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going to drop here, and he can add his firepower to... Um, trying to take here. That's about the only thing he's in range of. <coughs> or leave him that way and wait until next turn and move up here. Okay. Uh, we'll drop him out. We may use him. Um, the other ones we can't do. Let's see if there are any up here. Okay, this guy, he's probably going to go in travel mode. These two can't because they're stacked. But... They're obviously not in range of anything, so they're not going to change. So, now it's mode segment. Let's put this guy in travel mode. March mode, I'm sorry. Um, he can move too. But there's nobody nearby, so we'll just leave him in march mode. And let's see, these guys, he can only move one. Leave him in march mode. Leave him in march mode. And I think that's it. That's it. Alright, so... We are now in the German movement phase. So I am going to go ahead and work on that. And be right back. Alright, the German move is done. Um... And it's going to boil down to two big attacks now. Um, up here in the north, by the rules, the 560th has exited. <coughs> Turn 8, the 116th is going to have to exit. Um, so I'm not going to attack up here, but notice this is total overkill, but <coughs> I've got all this armor in here. Three armor units there, the recon, <coughs> even some mechs. That's the advanced after combat that we're going to want to take advantage of. Uh, meanwhile, this guy's going to finish his bridge. The other big attack is here. <coughs> so much so that I um, kind of viewed this as a sideshow and set up the 212th folks grenadier to screen. <coughs> They're not going to keep pushing here. What they want to do is get across here and uh, then they can start building bridges. So two attacks. Uh, this one is probably off the scale, even with this. Uh, two shift. It's broken, so let's run the odds on this. Yeah, it's broken. <coughs> and there's probably even you get Panzer Layer Divisional Integrity on top of that. So, 10, 14, 14 and 8 is 20, 227, 27, 34, 40, 
to 1. But no, wait, it's really 38 to 1. Well, it's off the chart. And I think uh, if you go off the chart, you just pick the highest odds here. Camera ratio is greater than the right hand. I resolved on the right hand. So we're right here. And we are going to roll the die. I'm going to use the Vassal 1. That's scary. Vassal 1 gets a 2, so we get an E result. Now that's something we need to check on. Um, so for an E result, hold on here, let me find that. Yep, here it is right here. Uh, e result, int armor can go 3. Mech can go 2, and infantry can go 1. So let's go ahead and delete that. So armor can go 1, 2, 3. Well, that's not too exciting. 1, 2. Well, let's just send them right up. 1, 2, 3. Probably want to send our... Oh yeah, we definitely want to send this guy up. 3. And let's get this out of here. Um, there is no armor here. There is. Okay, well, this guy is just going to go there. Uh, if he wants to. Let me think about that. Let's just get the everybody else moving. Um, these are all mech. This is armor. He can move one, two. Ooh, nice. Wait a minute. Anybody advancing a one, two and get behind this guy? Let's put this guy here. One, two. Let's put this guy here. Um, oh that's interesting. I guess I'll put him here, here, here. I think this guy can go three because he's recon, and then the mech is just going to go right up the road. Um... This mech's going to go here. This guy's going to stay here just to block this. Okay, so... Yeah, oh, wow. So close. One more hex. And would have had it. But they are coming up on Bastogne now. That's a problem. Alright, so that's done. The engineer will, though, get to build an improved position since they do it in one turn. Alright, let's come down here. And this is going to be interesting odds. These are, well, I got seven, and two is nine. Well, let's add these all up and half it. Four and three is seven, is ten. Ten and eleven is twenty-one. Twenty-one. And we half that round up, gives us eleven. Eleven and three is fourteen. 14, 18, 22. Well, it doesn't matter. It's a 3 to 1. We've got divisional integrity somewhere. I think 15th Valsermager. And 352nd. Yeah. So that takes it to 4 to 1. But then it drops 2 because of the town. So that takes it to 2 to 1. And they're in broken. So it's 2 to 1 broken. And we're using the initiative die roll. Let's see what happens. Oh, for Pete's sake. This is why I don't use the vassal die. Look at that. Okay, I'm not going to. Hold on. Uh, let's pull up the dice roller. Not here. Let's get that. Should have paused. Hold on. Uh, okay, so it's 2 to 1, and it's 1d6, so let's use my handy dandy dice roller. This one will count. 2 to 1 broken. 3, okay, close enough. So broken 2 to 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3. They both lose one. Wow, this is a moment of truth for the... Uh, if he retreats here, he could retreat here without losing anything. Uh, let's see if that does defer that. Uh, Alright, that's the key right here. Units retreated into enemy-controlled hexes. 
Occupy with friendly units. Do not lose a step. So, they are going to fall back here. And uh, this, of course, goes away. And they should have started building a bridge already. Dang it. And let's see, the only people who can advance are these guys. Wow, if, if, how uh, well I would have taken a unit out. See, if I had a unit here starting to build a bridge, and this was attack was successful, then the bridge would have been built, but now they got a way to turn, so. Um, and, but the Germans also lose a step. So, that's a tough choice. Let's take it out of this guy. Okay, so the Germans do take it, but this unit gets out of the trap. That's why actually moving that armor unit there was critical. So now he has an escape route, so he has extracted himself. All right, I believe that is the end of the German turn. Uh, the only thing left is bridge phase. And now we have a built bridge here which means these units are going to be in supply at the next check. One, two. So that's solid. Got a solid line here. So the Germans did okay. They're getting close, so close. One more turn and they could have really closed in on Baston, but guess what the U.S. gets this turn with an extra move. So they're going to have 18 plus yeah, so they can easily assume positions in Bastogne. This guy's going to have to extricate himself maybe here with a fortress built. Uh, or the Germans, well, it's going to be tough to swing around this way because of the rough terrain. Um, anyway, okay, that's the end of the German turn. And, uh, yeah, there's no reason this wouldn't have succeeded. I mean, it was just a delay unit, but... That's what they did. They kept them, kept them away from Baston. And down here, these units have at least crossed here, but um, the U.S. extricated themselves. So we'll see how this plays out next in the U.S. turn. If you like, click like. Comments appreciated. Messed up the rules, strategy recommendations. Um, and of, uh, as always, subscribe if you want to know when the next one is. And again, thanks for listening.